so when we install openshift and we install max application suite on top of it there are some multiple different urls you which will be available to you so the first url and uh, the placeholder is red hat openshift administration console so this particular administration console is similar to how we used to have deployment manager was console in websphere if you want to simulate so you will be able to see that there are particular different applications there are multiple different uh, information which is readily available about the cluster you will be able to see that what is the cluster for example if you see this page it tells you what are the how many pods are available then uh, it tells you about the persistent volume claims um, it tells you about the ship utilization the memory utilization you know if it is also going to tell you about if you are having certain issue with your um, cluster you will be able to see those errors here so this particular place uh, is where and from where you will be doing the configuration changes into ocp as well as uh, you will have different uh, artifacts related to ocp level so we will not go into too much detail into it but uh, we want to see some of the things which are important for our understanding so first thing is as i told you um, you will have different operator if you want to see what are the operators which are installed you will be able to see so you will be able to see that there are different multiple different operators which are available uh, ocp has concept of projects so you will be able to see all the projects or there will be multiple different projects which will be installed when you are going to install maximo core you will be able to have a different projects available for it for example this mass demo core is the project which is created when the maximo application suite core was installed and then mass demo manage is the project for manage application altogether right so you will have different projects if you choose the different projects in that case you will be able to see the related artifacts right and uh, uh, so whenever you are trying to search some information just make sure that you have chosen the correct project otherwise you may not be able to see the different information so um, so operators are something as i told you is uh, provides you the ability to install different uh, components on top of ocp the next particular thing is wor uh, workload and if you go to workload there are two important thing for now to understand the first one is pod so if you will you click on the pod you will be able to see all the different pods which are available pod is the smallest unit which is available in kubernetes or openshift uh, it is similar to how you had the jvm and on pod on top of pod your application will actually run so if i choose um, you will see that there is a project available for db2u so in this particular installation we have db2 uh, installed within the ocp on top of ocp so you will be able to see that these are the different pods which are responsible for running the db2 if i choose uh, core you will be able to see that what are the different pods which are available for uh, core uh, then for manage application you will have other pods so if i'm going to install one more application then there will be a new project which will be created and then there will be the pods associated to associated that particular application will also be created so pod is uh, uh, something which is equivalent to as i said like jvm and uh, your application runs on top of pod the second thing is secrets secrets are the placeholder where you will be able to find some passwords if you want to check some passwords you have to come and check that in secret for example if i want to have the jdbc password for uh, db2 i can come here see for example if i choose in this uh, i already have a credential and if i come you will be able to see the username and password so the maximum maximum is the username and password so you can see any password uh, you want to check come to secrets and check that mm, the other part is networking and in that routes so as i said that there will be different projects and routes will also be uh, individually available and so if you want to check different urls for example if you want to see what is the url for uh, the api mass demo api this is the url for api or what is the admin url this is the admin dashboard url right i will show you what is admin dashboard quickly uh, then if you want to see manage for example if you want to see what is the url for the manage 
so you want a particular url to be given to the user because the user is only going to use the uh, manage in that particular case you can give this particular url and this is the url which will directly take the user after they pass the username the password it will be uh, it will be uh, redirected to the manage screen so you can see the different uh, uh, urls uh, from the networking routes um, okay now we will stop here for now and uh, this is the page which uh, is known as suite administration page so this is the admin dashboard which is also known as admin dashboard so as per the access that you have you may or you may not be able to see this this is the placeholder where you will be doing different kind of activity for example user management or you will be doing uh, um, uh, you know different configuration of different application or some other uh, different administration tasks